Yes, sir, baby, on the Radar Radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Philly is in the building. I've been waiting for this one for quite some time. Hell Core yeah. is in the building. Let's get it. My brother, welcome to the show. Hell yeah. How nice you been? To, good. Just dropped a tape. Yep. Hell yeah. Great tape, by the way. Thank you, bro. For Great it. tape. Hell yeah. I like how you're on Twitter. You like be retweeting everybody who like uh, mm -hmm. t tweeting out lines yeah, from the yeah, tape. Yeah. I've been doing like that. that for years. Really? You've yeah, always been like that? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Since I came out. Very interactive. Mm hmm Hell yeah. Not a lot of people would do that. Not a lot of artists would do that. I go search the name. Mm. Like, you don't even got at me. You just search. I just search the name. Like whoever tweeted about me. That's, you know, I'm retweeting it. And then you're just retweeting it. Yeah. Cause I feel like sometimes, not. I'm not saying it's like a bougie thing, but like sometimes artists will like, they, they'll see it, but they won't retweet it. But I feel like when you add that extra level of like just doing shit like that. Um, it count. Yeah. yeah people oh, remember yeah. shit like that. Yeah, it count. People like remember that, especially if, if you're their favorite artist too. They'll be like, "Oh man, Core retweeted my shit." Like mm -hmm. Core knows who I am. They see he yeah. sees me. Mm -hmm. It mean a lot. Yeah, because I remember when I was a kid and I was like listening to artists and like you know if I tweeted at somebody and they retweeted me or they even like just replied to me like a thumbs up or like a thank you. Like I was like, "Wow, this shit like it means the world to me." Yeah, hell yeah. You've been doing that since you came out. Yeah, nice. 2012. Crazy. Mm -hmm. You had a. I used to have this. I used to have like one of my homies when I first came out. <clears throat> I used to drop songs. He used to like act like we used to put this like tweet together where we got the link to my song and he's at and a bunch of people. And it was like he used to flood people like mentioned so bad that people was blocking me like me and him type vibes coming up. There's probably still like a couple thousand Twitter accounts then mm -hmm. that, that probably have you blocked. A bunch of people. I don't want to say nobody's name. They unblocked me now, but <laughs> people definitely was blocking me. It was too much. It looked like spam. And they mentions. I so like there. I mean, so that's like how we all. That's how we came up. That's how we always did it. Like retweeting people. Yeah, you don't even gotta add us. Just search the name up in the search bar. I think about um, there was like this tweet like I think a year ago, and they were like, "You'll never believe." It was like an old tweet that was viral, but they're like, "You'll never believe who's in the replies for this." And when you click on the tweet, like let's say the tweet was like from 2016, 2017, the first person that pops up in, in, in the replies is like a tweet from like, I guess, like the baby promoting his music. Like mm -hmm. being like, yo, I'm an artist out of Charlotte. Come check out my record and with, with a video link. And I'm like, and I always, and I always think about shit like that because I'm like, we don't really get to see those type of things this many years later mm -hmm. on in the career. Afterwards, like yeah. the people like actually, because you think you're like, I wonder if any of these people in my replies who are posting these videos like make it. Mm hmm. And then, it, but it's cool to see like someone like yourself who was doing that. Him, like it's like cool to see that like that actually happens quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, hell yeah. How you like New York? Super dope. We ha we've been having some food conversations. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about let's talk about what what what, what we <laughs> had to get into before this. So you had your first chopped cheese the other day. Yeah, yeah. From a deli. It was like two in the morning with fries. Crazy. Fries on it or like fries on the side? Just fries on the side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was cool, and I got it on a. See, this is different out here because it's like. Our, I'm used to like saying like, yo, I want it on a roll, but it's called like a hero, right? A hero? Yeah, that's what it's called, a hero. A hero, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a hero. A you, hero, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you right. get on a roll too? No, like our, our, in Philly, a roll is a hero. You oh. get what I'm saying? So when I say a roll, he going to put it on a bun. <laughs> you get where I'm going? <laughs> So that'd be like the disconnect. I'm like, yo, I want mine on a roll. And then I get, I'm like, yo, I didn't ask for this sandwich. I want it on a roll. He like, no, that's a hero. So now I'm learning. I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm like a little, it got it got a little NY in me now. So it's like, damn. But yeah, I got chopped cheese, lettuce, tomato, ketchup. <laughs> I was with somebody and they kind of made it for me. Well done, chopping down. And then it's good. Little fries on the side. But then I had got a bagel, a raisin bagel with turkey bacon and grape jelly, mm. just in case if I ain't like the chopped cheese. If I ain't like the chopped cheese, then it was just like, all right, I'll just eat this raisin bagel, grape mm. jelly. Hold me down. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> nah, the hero to roll, I'm still like, I. there's like actually a tear coming out of my eye. But like the hero to roll thing is, is hilarious. I never even yeah, thought about it. Yeah, because when like you that. go like in Philly, you go somewhere, you like, yo, I want turkey bacon, egg and cheese on the long roll. They gonna give you a hero, but if you come here, it's not. That's not the motion. Wait a second. I think when I went to Philly and I got a, uh, I almost a chopped cheese, a cheesesteak. I think I said on a roll. And they get. Wait a second. They gonna give it to you on a long roll. In Philly, they giving it to you on a long roll. That makes sense. I don't then. even know what that bun thing called. It's like, bro, it's a roll. 
Yeah, but it's not the role. Like, I don't, that's called something else in Philly. Okay, yeah, in Philly. In Philly. A Kaiser role. That's what it's called. A Kaiser roll. That's what it's called. And Philly, those little bun yeah. bunny things, that's called a Kaiser roll. But it's just a roll. You know what? You feel what I'm saying? I it's a Kaiser I, I roll. I what you say. So that'd be the disconnect. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But I like how the deli stay open 3 a.m. You leaving the stew. You right. feel what I'm saying? You get your fruit, all of that. You could just go buck wild in there. You feel me? Because I was telling you about my little adventure in Philly yeah. for Made in America weekend when I was like, first night there, I was smacked. And I'm like, I can't. I'm like, I need food. Right. I need food. And me and uh, me and my two friends, we go on like a, an hour and a half long adventure trying to find some food, some eats. Yeah. There was a McDonald's that was open, but there, we had a we had a situation with the McDonald's and then there was a food truck right across from us. So we ended up getting food at the food truck. But the whole time I'm like, damn, I can't find no fucking food out here. I had no idea. Next time David stayed open till 3 a.m. David's is what? Chinese. Yeah, we tried going to David's. Y'all tried? We tried David's. The line was around the block. I was not saying on that line. Yeah, that line crazy. That line crazy. I'm busting every time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you see, waiting on that line? No, I'm busting the line. Oh, you every busting time. the line. Every I time. see somebody I know. Respectfully, though. It ain't like I'm on like some shit, but yeah. I'm saying respectfully. I'm a, The line be so long every night that it's like you going to see somebody you know that's like in the door damn near. You go in there, act like you talking to them. Yo, what's up? Da -da 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 -da. And you right in the line with them. Boom. Yo, what's up? Da -da -da -da. Yo, I'm right with you. I just found another disconnect. You said busting. Now, to me, when I eat food, I'm like, oh, yeah, this food busting. Right. But busting for you. That just mean extremely around the block. <laughs> <laughs> that shit mean extremely around the block. Nah, bro. I went to David's, bro, and I'm like looking up. I got my hands outside the car like this. I'm like, the, I know the look in my face was just pain because they were like, yeah, my homegirl told me to go there. And I'm like... I see. I don't know nobody. I don't. I, I look at the line. I don't see nobody I know in the line. I'm like, oh damn. I guess we're not getting food. Yeah, that line too long, like too long, too long, bro. Yeah, too long. And it's like, if you sometimes like, it'd be a thing where, like, this is all stuff you learn later. But yeah. like, sometimes the line would be so long, you'll be like, I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes. The line is even longer than what it was 30 minutes ago. It's like, <laughs> the later it get, the more the line gonna be wrapped around the corner. That's crazy. And it's only open until 3 a.m. Yeah. Which isn't even that late. That's not late? Well, that's like everything closed in Philly. So it's like, like we got this pizza store ads we go to. They close at like 1.30. So if we ain't making ads or Davis, you going to Wawa. Mm. And that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is bullshit. They had Wawa as your dinner. That's bullshit, bro. They're having like a Wawa sandwich, right? Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah, nah, I, yeah. I ain't fucking with that. I ain't fucking with that. Y'all did have some food trucks. Y'all even had a halal cart, but like, it wasn't like, it didn't look like a halal cart from here. Oh, I ain't so, messing with them trucks yeah, and all that. No, I don't mess with, I don't mess with halal carts if they're not from New York City. Respectfully. Respectfully. If it's not my halal cart on Hillside Ave, shout out my guy. That's, the, the, the halal truck here, that's where I got the hot sausages from. That, right okay. outside the Equinox Hotel. <laughs> Yeah, right there. Okay, so for Supreme, they got a smoothie truck next to it and all that. Yeah, like I know this is like you want to know what's so crazy to me. Somebody here would be like, like that live here would be like, that is nothing. But to me, that's so exciting because it's like, oh shit, I found something. Like I found something new that I don't gotta keep getting these chopped cheese and all that and bagels. I could like found something. Then I got I go to the Bronx, right? Monty's <laughs> brick oven. Right, my folks, some rapper I, I, I rock with put me on there. Yeah. Right, Neek Bucks. Shout out Neek Bucks. Shout from out Harlem. Neek Bucks, man. Yeah. He put me on there. He, he was like, "Yo, bro, let's go get some lunch." I'm like, "All right, but da 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 da." And we go there, bro. I've been going there every ever since. I'm getting shrimp salad, grilled shrimp salad mm -hmm. with rigatoni, spicy. You feel what I'm saying? Add a little salmon in the salad. You out of here with some little garlic bites? Yeah. Crazy. I gotta start a food show. I gotta make yeah. all the radar. Like we we gotta just crazy. go. You, you and me gotta go just go yeah, and eat, crazy. Some, eat some food. I'm telling you, that's where I'm going. I'm trying to think like where else would I go? Rob, you been to that that food spot they talking we about? We in the Bronx? Brooklyn. We in Brooklyn. We right? in Brooklyn. Yeah, but he from the Bronx. That's why I'm asking. Footprints. Him. Dave East took me to Footprints. Uh, yeah, Footprints is fine. Yeah, too. I was so hype about that. Like <laughs> it'd be so crazy though, right? Cause like he put me on it, but then when if I talk to somebody else out in Y, they'd be like, oh. You know what I mean? Like I'm so excited about it, they'd be like, "Oh, yeah." Like I heard, it's just, it's it's a regular day. Like, it's, it's a okay. regular day yeah. for us. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. It's shit. Then my folks put me on Ray's Jamaican mm -hmm. cuisine. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so I go to Ray's. I'm getting jerk wings. I don't even. I think that's in Brooklyn too. Yeah. Ray's Jamaican. Ray's Jamaican cuisine. I'm going there. You ever been to Jamaican flavors out here? Mm mm. They got honey wings. Crazy. Nuts. Crazy. Next time. Like it's getting you on. 
Yep. Little, or, nah, I want to say it's a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little right. bit. I had them back in college, so I, my tolerance maybe was a little bit, you know. <laughs> it's, it's close to here. Is there Jamaican? Yo, is there Jamaican flavors? No, right, Rob? No, it's mostly in like Queens. Queens. I, I think there might be one in Brooklyn, but mostly in Queens. Yeah. And then when I used to be in Harlem, I used to go to this, uh, it's this spot, right? It's cool. I don't know if I go there again, but like, it's like this seafood spot. It'd be open like 2 a.m. And like, you got to pick the food yourself. I'm thinking we go in there and order. They talking about, yo, get your shrimp, frozen shrimp. And the people got to cook it. You been there before? Mm-mm. It's not like Benny Hanna's and nothing like that. It's Y'all like get a, the door. That's my photographer. It ain't nothing like that. It's like you have to pick the frozen food out yourself. I right. think it's next to Amy Roof's. Next to Amy Roof's. Okay. I, I wish I knew what the name of that spot was. I haven't been there yet. Yeah. It's a Spanish spot. We just started. We've been talking about food for like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, Philly. All right. So real quick. I want to do this. Um, so if a New Yorker goes to Philly, right? Right. What are the spots that we got to hit out there? So I know for next time, and so for anybody from New York who's watching this, they know for next time that they go out there. Food too. spots. Food spots. All right. First, I'm gonna say go to Kenshin. Okay. That's on Third and Spring Garden. Okay. You're gonna go to Kenshin. Boom. You're gonna get a crab fried rice, and if you like shrimp tempura, I, I get crab fried rice with shrimp tempura rolls and a ginger ale. That's gonna hit every time, right? You gotta tell them. No vegetable, no egg in the crab meat. Like with the rice, no vegetable, no egg. Cook it well done. Get your shrimp tempura rolls, a ginger ale. You out of here. If you don't got, if you don't got a taste for that, you gonna go to Lagos. It's not in Philly, but it's twenty minutes from Philly. Yeah. Like up at Derby. So it's like you go there, you get a jerk chicken over rice. Crazy. Like <laughs> I'm, t- I'm telling you, bro. Crazy. Right. <laughs> David's that's cool for the late night. Like David's is like Wawa. Like I don't I wouldn't eat nothing from Wawa in the daytime. I would never eat David's in the daytime. Like I don't know what it's like to have David's in the daytime because that's like some nighttime shit. When you're drunk. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't get drunk. I never been drunk in my life. I don't know what it feel like to be drunk. Really? But, yeah, like drunk. Like we'll, I'm, we'll talk to that. Face yeah. the food spots. Yeah. So David's boom. Um there's this store in West Philly. It's called Ed's. Okay. I'm going to go there every time. Cheese steak, wings, all of that. They're going to do me right. Um, I'm trying to think. And I don't really be with the hype. Like for, huh? Tina's tacos, if you like those Berea tacos. I don't really like those where you dip it in the sauce and all that. Mm-hmm. I don't really like that. But Tina's tacos. Um. Mm-hmm. Nifty fifties. Nifty fifties. Okay, you yeah. give us a, enough spots. That's a lot yeah. of spots. Yeah, hell yeah. You, you said you didn't drink. No. Ever. Mm-mm. Wow. Don't work. Mm. What do you mean it don't work? Like it don't work. I'll take a shot or two. I'm like, yo, I, I don't feel nothing. Like how? You know, how people be like, yo, I blacked out drunk. I smacked out. Like how? <laughs> Maybe I'm drinking the wrong stuff. Yeah, like I've never been drunk. What you been? What you be drinking? If you do drink. Uh. I ain't going to lie to you. Now, I did feel weird. I felt weird. I was in Atlanta a few months ago, and I had drunk. I was trying to fall back from weed. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to switch it up. The vibes is different here. Mm. I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to drink. I had some Casamigos, and I was drinking, drinking, drinking. And I just felt, like, super weird. My vision started getting blurry. I'm like, I don't think this is how it's supposed to go. <laughs> That's like, exactly how it's supposed to go. That, yeah, he was drunk. <laughs> you were drunk. <laughs> what? I'm like, yo, I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. I can't see. I can't even hear. Somebody okay, talking I don't to me. Hearing. No, somebody was talking to me. It sounded like gibber. Like, I'm like, what are they saying to me? And that's how I'm like, hey, you know what? I don't like this feeling. You feel like super weird. I don't really like that feeling. Yeah, you were drunk, bro. Yeah. I didn't like it. <laughs> Man, like it. I think you said. Well, I mean, that was your, probably your first time then being drunk. Then, yeah. I think you just got to try again. But don't, don't see. You might have been on the verge of like. I think like two or three more drinks. He might have blacked out. That might that might have become a blackout. If that's what you say. That's you, what you, I'm trying to experience. A blackout. No, you don't want to experience that. I no, long, promise you don't. Long you don't as I'm not driving. That. No, you don't want to experience a blackout, bro. Because then you wake up the next morning, you don't know what you did the night before. I've been, I had a thousand nights like that, a million, I tell you. Wake up the next morning, you don't know what happened, where your wallet at? Yeah, a thousand of those nights. Oh, okay, so then, yeah, <laughs> why do you want to speak? Why, I just want to experience that, though. Like, yo, I was drunk, I blacked out. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, like, you got the evilest smile on your face when you yeah, said that, too. Yeah, I mean that. 
That's for real. That's in real life. That's in real life. <laughs> like what? Yeah, that's real life. Uh uh-uh. uh. I never want to exp- even think about the like the three times in my life that I blacked out. I never want to go back to that. Like, yeah. Horrible. Mm-hmm. Horrible. Yeah. My acid trips then had me black out a thousand times. Mm, really? Yeah. I didn't know acid could do that to you. Yeah. When you want it to stop, how you get it to stop, you gotta fall asleep. Of course. And it's gonna keep you up, right? Mm-hmm. So boom, you take a little Zan or two. It's going you're not gonna remember nothing from the Zan your whole night. It's a blur. Oh, wow. I feel like you lived a whole nother life when you woke up. Like, damn, like that shit. Like I can't even explain it. I'm gonna sound crazy. But it's like just I feel like somebody out there will relate to it. Yeah, somebody will relate to it. They're gonna say, I know where he, I know where he was at. With uh psych- so are you into psych- psychedelics like that? Like I know yeah. um it was like yeah. a documentary on Netflix I watched about I think uh psychedelics and like the benefits of like mushrooms and see i was like on that. it before people was on it before, I took, yeah. yeah i took shrooms in like 2013 mm-hmm. before it was popular like i was looked at kind of crazy when i did it type shit like for real like i was calling my homie time felt like it stopped like it felt like six years went past type shit like and nobody called you like it really like one minute can feel like six years on acid like literally You'll be looking yeah. at your phone like, damn, six years went past, nobody called me. Like, for real. For you, is it like, uh, well, Turning. I mean, now, I mean, do you, is, because I know the bene- the medical benefits of, um, like, microdosing and things like that, do you, is it for you, is it like recreational? Do you do it for, for fun, just for, for medical purposes? I or? feel like, you know how they say, like, yo, you got tears of joy? Mm-hmm. I never had tears of joy until I took a shroom, and I actually cried because I felt so happy. I mm-hmm. never knew what that felt like. All my cries and my tears was because of pain. So, like, when I experienced that, I said, damn, it's light at the end of the tunnel. For real. Wow. Yeah, it's deep. Was like, that, like, real. your first trip, or that was just kind of, like, later That was on? my first trip. That was your first trip. I done had a thousand trips after that. Mm. Like, a thousand. To this day? To this day. To this day. Yeah. So, for you, it's more for recreational? Yeah, I got a microdose pill in my pocket. <laughs> Drums. Yeah. I've never microdosed personally. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, for real. I have anxiety, so I I, I can't worry really about that. Mess with that shit. I get some food in me. Mm-hmm. That shit put me in the matrix. A microdose? Yeah. But I feel like a microdose just kind of calms you down, though. No, or is it, it? It takes you a little further than that. Hell no, it ain't gonna calm you down. Everybody minds be different, so like you gotta make sure you moving because you sit stuck. Shit ain't gonna go your way. Mm-hmm. Everybody mind's different, so it's like you may not be able to handle it, even if it's a microdose. Have you ever tried to make music? Yeah. Well, I just can't sit still to even stay in the booth to do it. Really? Yeah. Do you have any records that are out that you made under? Mm-mm. No? Mm-mm. I kind of soak. I experience the trip versus trying to do things on the trip. Mm. I just sit and experience it. Right, so it's not like you're actively making music while tripping. It's while just tripping, like, yeah, exactly. You might just like you might listen to some beats, some shit like that. Yeah, maybe? like you would listen to your favorite artist, you'll feel like he in the room with you. This is so interesting. Yeah, like for <laughs> no, real. it's really. I'm actually genuinely interested by like this, this room other. right here. Right, if I was on shrooms in this room, how y'all got the ceiling and all of that? Yeah, crazy. Out of here. I know. Out of here. I just sit there like this. Just imagine my whole trip. That should have looked like that month, like the sky falling. <laughs> For real, I'm telling you. So, oh, so you never had? Well, your favorite artist be in the room with you, or you feel like that when you listening? When you listening, yeah. When you listening, huh? Interesting. Vo- I never had, actually had a conversation like this with an artist before. It's very intriguing. Yeah. Hell yeah. Very intriguing. So you got a micro? Well, I mean, obviously it's in your pocket, right? So mm-hmm. like you do. So like, what's a normal day then in that case? So it's like you just you do what you gotta do, and then at the end of the day, you're like, all right, microdose a little bit, chill. Get some good eats. Yeah, I probably it's like fifty fifty if I'm gonna take it today. Mm. Gotta see how today goes. Mm-hmm. If it's busy, then uh. Because if you sit too still, you could get weird. It's like <laughs> taking Adderall and not doing nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you just take Adderall and you sit here. It's gonna get weird. You're gonna be staring out of space. Yeah. Like shit. I've seen that with people in college. Like when people would finish their work in college, they're like, "All right, I'm on Adderall. I don't know what to do now." And yeah. they just sit there, and I'm like, "Are you good, bro?" They're like, "Yeah, we're just like, yeah, we're on." You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how they have you. So you gotta move every time. Yeah, I've never been able to do anything like like shrooms or anything like that because my I feel like I've seen I've had friends who who've done shrooms and I've seen like how their personalities are affected by it and like our personalities personalities are similar and I'm very anxious of a person so I know if I ever did some shit like that I would be like bouncing off the walls mm-hmm. which is pure anxiety. The most I could do is smoke. That's yeah, it. that's it. Because when you want it to stop, it won't stop. Exactly. Yeah. It don't it don't stop when you want it to stop. 
stop when it stop. Yeah. But versus like smoking and drinking. Like obviously if I'm drinking, I'm like, oh, I'm getting a little drunk. I right, I stop. Or like even like weed is just like, I know this is gonna wear off and like a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Hour, two yeah. hours, maybe nothing crazy. And yeah. I can like just go about my day. That shit get you hot and you hit your peak. Yep. And then it's, you can't get rid of it. Yeah. Then stuck then you're stuck. And it's an upper to keep you up. So it's like the only way to stop it is to go to sleep. Yeah. It was like that's like the balance, the disconnect you be trying to find. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. But we got the new project out now. Yeah, hell yeah. Congrats. Thank you for that, bro. Um, with this project, man, loyal to a fault. Yeah. Why loyal to a fault? Because I just feel like that explained me. My first take was called Survivor's Guilt. Well, that was the first name for Loyal to a Fault. That was the original name. Really? And then, yeah, um, it was Survivor's Guilt. And then just last minute, you know, we just figured out, we was trying to, you know, we wanted to go with a different name. Just just, just so our, you know, our moment is just, it stands out. Mm -hmm. So we went with Loyal to a Fault. We was trying to find something under the same concept of Loyal to a Fault. I mean, of Survivor's Guilt, and we came up with Loyal to a Fault. Mm. So the loyal to the a fault name has always kind of been around. Mm -mm. That had just came about. Oh, that just had, came about. That okay, just okay, came okay. about because we had to switch it from Survivor's Guild. Okay, gotcha. You know what I'm saying. So it was like our right, last minute we had to switch it. I wanted to still find something that you know made sense with Survivor's Guild, and I felt like loyal to a fault was perfect for that. Right, and it was all, and it was all you on the tape too. Yeah. Why? The, why? It just cause. Beautiful. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. We love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah, like yeah. when I like when artists do that too, because like you know, I feel like sometimes we get so used to like, oh, okay, we're gonna have like ten, not ten features, but you know what I mean, like five. Yeah, or 10 no, I was it. honestly, I just really, you know, it was like a long process of trying to get this tape out, mm. where I felt like, all right, let's just put out these songs with just me, and then, you know, for my fans, and then let's do a deluxe with the features. So oh, everything, cool. you okay. feel what I'm saying? So yeah. it wasn't just no features; it was just kind of like, let's put this out first. I didn't drop a tape in like two years. Yep. So it was kind of like, all right, I'm going to get my fans me, and then I'm going to get them the collaboration side of it on the deluxe. So mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? Y'all got both sides. Y'all got me originally, and then y'all got the collaboration part. When are we getting the deluxe? Can we say Soon? that? Soon? Yeah. Soon? Soon come? Yeah, soon coming. A couple features. On, are they all features on the deluxe? or For the most part. For the most part? Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. I'm going to try to make it like that, but I'm, I wanted to have like three songs, four songs that's no features as well. Mm -hmm. I want my deluxe to be like seven, eight songs. Got Add it. it to Loyal to a Fault. Right. What's you know your favorite song on Loyal to a Fault? Mm, Sunny. Why Sunny? Because uh, I didn't write it. I just did it off the top. Mm. I just, you know, got in the booth. I punched every bar in word for word. Yeah. And, you know, I think that usually like a lot of times I overthink when I'm writing. And I felt like this time I ain't holding no punches back. Like, you know what I mean? Like. There was certain things I said on that song where it was like, I ain't even overthink it. Usually I'd be like, nah, I don't know if I want to say that. It was like, no. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Your freestyles are crazy, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that, bro. Yeah. That's why when like, I heard you come here, I was so excited. I'm like, I'm like oh, man. Like, one, I, uh, one, of course, like, I like doing the interviews and the freestyles because one, I just like having these conversations. And right. like, I did not expect us to talk about psychedelics and food today, yeah. but I'm happy we did. Oh, and then, yeah. two, I'm like, oh, I know he's going to body the, the, the freestyle because you always do, too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, every freestyle I've seen of you, um, since like, since I like, I first heard of you a couple couple years back. I'm like, man, this boy be going crazy. Oh yeah, it's so crazy, man. That. Yeah, thank you for that, bro. How did MIA go, by the way? Beautiful. Went well. Yeah, super green. Great to be back in your hometown. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. Especially like on a stage like that, it's like mind blowing. And that was my third year doing it, but I feel like this year, it just I just feel like I got a chance to touch the people more. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and just feel their energy. Took a picture with everybody, you know. Got a chance to just, you know, hear how your fans feel and, you know, how they feel mm. about you. You know what I mean? And I ran into one fan I had actually, since we in New York, I had ran into one fan. I had met him at a show out here. Mm. And he had gave me his grandma chain that died. And wow. he was at Made in America front row. So it's like to see that be like super dope to me. Like it's in that, that when I met him in New York, that was probably like three, four years ago. Wow. So I didn't see him since. I just remember him giving me that and then. Kinda, we just never talked again for real, for real. And then it was just super dope to just seeing like front row, like yo, da 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 da. But that was dope for me. And you remembered him too. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's fire, yeah. man. Oh yeah. Came all the way from New York. Yeah, that was super dope. That's dope, man. Yeah. I love hearing stories like that. It's funny because I actually had like a, there was an artist here earlier this week. He had like a similar story where he gave a fan a necklace before the pandemic, and then um, 
he did a show here this week, and then the fan came back with that same necklace. Mm -hmm. like, Here's your necklace back. Yeah. Before the pandemic. Shit, yeah. too. It's crazy. Yeah, that's dope. But it's cool that you got a fan base like that. You got, like, a loyal fan base that, you mm -hmm. know. Hell yeah. Through, the, through a, a whole global pandemic and all. Yeah. Nuts. So the deluxe is on the way. Yeah. What else are you working on right now? What else you got going on? What else is kind of cooking? Um, I'm trying to. All right. So the songs that's on the deluxe, I'm not. I don't got all of them put together yet. Right. So I've been recording this week like heavy, like leaving four or five a.m. Mm. type vibes, just to you know try to figure out the rest of the songs for the deluxe. All right. Yeah. I gotta say, I love the place that Philly is in with music right now. In terms of like, yeah, it's all, all over the place. The yeah. It's all over the place. I feel like it used to be like. Kind of like just bars, rapping, yep. DVD, battle, da -da 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 -da. Now I feel like you're just getting all type of sounds. You got um, D Sturdy in them with the Shake That Shit shit. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Uzi doing his thing like on the Rockstar tip. Yep. Rest in peace, PNB Rock. You had him doing it on mm -hmm. the R&B tip. You got yeah. me doing it in my lane. You got Cuz doing it in his lane. And you got a bunch of other people. So I feel like now it's not a cap on the sound of... Philadelphia. It's like it can, you can get anything out of Philly. Right. Yeah, That's I was about to say like D thirty, too rare. Too rare, yeah. I fuck with too rare. Yeah. I okay. fuck with that whole movement. I I'ma just say that whole movement because I know it's a bunch of them and a I lot don't wanna of them, miss yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. wanna miss nobody. So but shout out to them though. They super dope. I yeah. feel like they, you know, created a wave for themselves that isn't really like Philly, you know, based for real, for real. Right. To be all the way honest. Yeah. But it's but it's like it is like a new sound out of Philly, and I think that that's like yeah, the but it worked. About it. it worked. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it worked. It worked. Oh, yeah. yeah, and that's dope. Cause I feel like dance music is kind of becoming popular right now. Yeah, like, it's like Jersey club music. Yeah, or to a certain extent, Baltimore club music. Yeah, yeah. a little. It's a little bit of a mix of everything. I feel I, like that I, sound I, I, of everything. Yeah, yeah. Cause even like the Jersey sound that's kind of come out with like the band man real, and then like I look at like obviously who's coming out of Philly right now. It really is kind of like. You could pinpoint kind of where it started, but like also it's kind of like a mix of all of all of it at the same time. Right. And it's all the youth, which is like I think that's also the coolest part too. And like you know, like you said, like it's also dope that someone like mm -hmm. yourself who's been in the game is like just showing them love. Yeah. Cause they doing their thing out here. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I love that for you. Mm. So the project's out now. Yeah. Um, freestyle's out now. By the time y'all see this, um, anything else that the people got to be on the lookout for that they got to know about before we sign off here? The deluxe. The deluxe. Loyal to a fault. You already know how we coming. We doing big things. Yes. I feel like the deluxe is going to be like super, super crazy. And, you know, trying to get these. I got, uh, I got, um, what's the college? I got a few colleges with these homecomings coming up. Okay, cool. So I'm like super excited for that. I like, I love pulling up to colleges and, you know, getting that feel and getting that energy and putting on a good show for them. Dope. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, I'm excited for that. Congrats on everything, my brother. Hell yeah. Um, Thank you for that, bro. Make sure you go follow. Oh, wait, tell them where they can follow you at. Yo, you already know what it is. This camera right here. Seven, oh, all right, bet. You already know what it is. It's Young79. You can follow me on IG, Core7947. You can follow me on Twitter, Core and GB. I'm trying to get my TikTok in order. I was sleeping on TikTok, but now I'm like, damn, I'm in dinosaur mode if I'm not <laughs> like, on my TikTok. Mode. No, for real. Like, I'm start, I, I learn late. Yeah. So it's like somebody could tell me something and I won't understand it until I understand it type shit. So yeah. I say all that to say. Um, my TikTok is 79 core. Go follow me. I'm trying to like get that together because I feel like without it, it's like you're missing out. Right. Yeah. So go follow him on TikTok. Yeah, let's do it. Uh Instagram, subscribe to his YouTube page. Go run up the new project. That's out now. Go run yeah, up the yeah. freestyle. That's out now. Go show the man some love. Go show the man some support. Love and support is free. Yeah. But y'all already knew that. Till next time, core. On you the already radar. know what it is. On the radar. Let's get it. Young 79. We in NY. I need a hot sausage crazy right now. God damn. <laughs> Yo. Hold me <laughs> down. Please. Core on the radar, my brother. Love. Yeah, love. Always, Boom. bro.